He's managed to evade police for two months, but investigators hope this may be the key to his arrest. This new photo released by police gives a clearer image of the man accused in the daytime robberies, threatening victims with a bottle filled with a yellow liquid he says is acid. It's a sick world. It's a busy, busy area, and it's very brazen. It's very brazen. Some Citibank customers like Mitzi Thomas just learning about the incidents in which investigators say the man went up to women at these ATMs at East 68th Street and 1st Avenue demanding they give him $1,000. He allegedly pulled the stunt twice within two weeks in May, the first incident just after 1.30 in the afternoon. We have to be very careful and look behind us to see if there's anyone coming behind us and to close the door, make sure the door is closed when we go inside. This Citibank is so Solely an ATM location, which means there's no staff, just these machines inside. And some customers say part of the problem is that there needs to be better security. Several customers, including Charles Gadsden, telling us that immediately after the crimes, the bank had guards, but their presence was short lived. They'll have someone probably here tomorrow for about two weeks, and then they'll be gone. They should have someone here constantly. In the first case, police say the victim gave the man $500. In the second, police say the victim handed over $1,000 cash before the suspect took off. Police now hoping this new image will lead to a break in their investigation. On the Upper East Side, Genova. CBS 2 News.